Uh, hi, welcome to this training on Open Roads uh, Designer Template. So in this uh, uh, session, actually, we will see how to manage the template and template library in Open Roads Designer, and this will be very much useful while uh, doing a corridor design. So in this session, we will see uh, what is a template and a template library, and where are they actually stored, and how to load them or change them for a particular corridor model and uh, what is a template library organizer and how to uh, properly use that one. Um, so the first thing is uh, what is template? So in Open Roads Designer, uh, in Open Roads uh, Designer, template is actually the name for road cross section. And this road cross section or templates are loaded in a file called the template library. And this will be having an extension of .itl. And uh, some ITL file or template library are uh, delivered with Open Roads Designer and your uh, organization or the particular project can have its own template library. So how does that look like? Is actually if you suppose this is a corridor model I'm doing. So this is uh, not a proper one. Uh, this is just for example. So if you just go under this one template under corridor, there, there will be this template under template. If you just click in here this create template. So this thing opens up. So this is a, actually a template library in this uh, on the left side. You can see uh, where it is actually loaded from. Uh, it, it should come actually from your work set or workspace or your organization civil folder. Uh, so however, uh, I have I'm uh, it is coming from where I'm working on. OK, and you can see some components and end conditions and some linear templates and project templates, etc. Some surface templates. So this components and end conditions will be there and from uh, actually from those things you can create some template or road cross sections and that will be useful in your uh, corridor design. Uh, so this is a template and this is what a template library looks like. So you can see in here one template, one cross section is shown in here. Actually under this project template, if you open up, you can see one thing, this two lane uh, rural and uh, you can see this red border. This red border means that uh, uh, it is actually the active template and you can see it from the uh, you see it on the right side. You can uh, change it, uh, you can edit it and do a lot of things. But uh, in this session, we'll uh, restrict ourselves only to managing the template uh, library file, not to edit them. So and also, whenever you can, uh, whenever you select any of the template uh, templates, what happens? The free view comes up in here in this location, but you have to remember that uh, this is not the active one and uh, the active one is having the red border and it is shown on the right side. So whatever changes you do, it will be uh, will go to that one. This one two lens, uh, whichever is the active one. So this is a. Uh, template library. So while uh, designing this corridor model, what will happen that particular uh, template library will be used. So suppose you. So suppose you want to use some other template uh, library file, some other template library files. What you can do, you can go there, create template and you can come here file. And this open or otherwise you can just uh, click control plus O. So and from here you can select any of the template file means you can go anywhere in the location and you can select your template library file or the dot uh, itl file and you can just load it and it will show up in here. I will not uh, select any uh, any other template library file at this uh, point. So the thing is uh, the next thing is where does the uh, d uh, does they come from means what is their default location? So Actually, um, it shall be uh, the thing is your um, the project you are working on. Suppose this is a BIM level two project and it is having its own uh, template library file. And again, your organ organization, your company will have its own um, template library file. There can be multiple template library uh, template library file. OK, and the, another one is uh, actually delivered with Open Roads Designer software. So if you just go to your C drive, uh, this is uh, actually the default location. It can be set to some other location as well. So under uh, in your C drive under program data, there will be a folder called Bentley. Under Bentley, there will be this uh, folder Open Roads Designer CE and the configuration. Uh, under configuration, there will be workspaces and there will be some a uh, lot of workspaces actually. Uh, 
and in this workspace and in workspace there will be uh, worksite folder in this worksite uh, the worksites will be there so uh, suppose this is xyz this is a worksite this is just for example so in here you can see this folder the standard in the standard there is a folder called template library so your project specific uh, template can be uh, located here otherwise it can also be blank so this is one location now so your company level or your organ organization level uh, <coughs> uh, template library that can be loaded in suppose this abc is your workspace and here also you can see this um, standard folder and the standard folder you can see the folder structure as you have seen previously for work set uh, <coughs> so under here also you will see you will see this uh, folder this template library and uh, the, <coughs> the it can contain also the template library files so if it doesn't find any file in the workspace or work set what uh, open door designer will do it will go to this location this organization civil and it will uh, go to uh, uh, suppose your workspace refers to this folder every workspace will um, um, refer to some uh, folder uh, among this one okay so suppose this uh, your workspace refers to this one so under metric also you can see the same kind of folder structure that you have seen previously for workspace and workset and there is this folder template library and it, uh, your uh, this, this these things are actually delivered with open doors designer okay so otherwise it can be any any location you can load them using what i have shown you previously from here template create template and this file open uh, so that you have seen what are their default location their default location and uh, the thing is this uh, template library file it works like your uh, the windows folder you can do a lot of things you can, if you double click it in here what will happen uh, it will open up the tree opens up you can just right click and then create a new, something new like new it can be a new folder within this under this project template it can be a new template under this project template also you can create a whole new uh, template library file from here file and this new this new uh, template library you can do that important thing is uh, template library organizer which is a very useful and uh, powerful tool within uh, Bentley open roads designer to go to uh, <clears throat> template library organizer you can come here under tools this uh, template library organizer will be there just click in there so this one opens up okay so uh, left side you can see the current template uh, library file with with all the components and end conditions and everything uh, and on the right side what you can do you can uh, click on these three dots and then you can select the uh, template library file from where you want to copy that particular template suppose this one and you can just uh, select that one so on the right side now you can see the particular uh, the other uh, template library file and suppose you want to copy this one this four lens crown pgl this template into your current template library so suppose uh, particularly in this location this project template location so you can see there is uh, no four lens crown pgl template within this one so what you can do you can just select it and drag and drop to where you want to copy to suppose this location this project template location you want to copy it to not this one just escape so under uh, to this project template you can copy so now you can see this Poland's crowns pgl and now you can um, uh, save and close this one so okay and yes so what happens now under this one this project template you can see this four lens crown pgl project template this one this is the thing this is the template we have copied from that uh, other um, template library so you can uh, easily move uh, easily move uh, your template across template library using template library organizer 
Uh, the other one also you could do actually from uh, moving that one from the left to right also you could do. Uh, like I'll just go again. And from here also you can actually copy any of them to this location. OK, I won't be copying this one. So this is one important task of the template library organizer. There is another actually. So um, the thing is, uh, suppose in a uh, in a corridor, you will you'll be using lot of template files. But the thing is, when you use a template file in your corridor design, it is copied to your corridor design file and actually it is uh, uh, where you can change that template. Uh, using this uh, tool edit template drop. So you can uh, click it in here. Here suppose you change uh, do some uh, changes in your corridor design in this template from here. Like was like this one and suppose you uh, do any kind of change. Suppose uh, delete components and delete all these things. OK. Let's say this one as well. Uh, the thing is now we, uh, this uh, corridor will reprocess. So this is the new corridor. This template has been changed. The thing uh, this template has been changed, uh, but the thing is uh, the template I have changed. It is not changed in your template library file. The template library file will be as it was, so it will not change. The, now after your design, suppose you have made a lot of changes like this. So and while doing your corridor design, you will uh, do this kind of changes. So uh, uh, if you have done some uh, something like that and now you want to copy this particular this uh, particular template what you have changed using this edit template drop to your uh, template library file uh, in that case also you can just uh, go to this one create template and under tools template library organizer will be there and now on the right side you can see this active design file corridors so the, if you <coughs> expand the tree, you can see uh, this uh, uh, all this templates. So these templates are actually uh, used in your uh, in your corridor model, and also you can see some uh, templates with some date and time. So this is the particular one that uh, I have changed uh, right now. So this uh, date and time also has been captured in this one. So now you can just easily copy this one to your somewhere in to this, all these folders. You can copy it too. OK, so these are two uh, two most important use of the template library organizer. And <clears throat> OK, so that's all for this session. So in the next session, we will see how we can create uh, a template, uh, any template component from scratch and how we can edit a template and also create a template from different components. OK, so thank you.